I can say that having fun in Dota is probably super important because when you have fun, you enjoy the game and you win. Like it's it, uh, being strong coming up from having fun. I mean, all the teams uh, at highest highest level are definitely having fun. Hundred million. <laughs> <laughs> As they just wait out the soul point, Thompson doesn't want to leave just yet. DC and C, who's his target? Anna into the only side for the Yule Scepter. It's wasting all, but the RP will catch up CC and C for defensive destruction. Pilot I got it off just in time for the Inkswell. The Dark Control, maybe with a sword hammer. that came in from Nubi. They want to fight around the shrines, but now it's going to be Pylai die falling. Thompson's gone after MSS for a triple kill from him. And it'll be Anna who will claim the life in a double kill against Pylai die And Seb, he's also looking for his own fight. Oh. Everyone's having their own engagements. C, C, and C trying to bring... Look at this. They're, they're going to sandwich Vici Gaming right now. They're actually going to chase him into the mines that Jerex has laid out by the tower. If they try and go back to the tower, they're dead. Paparazzi's just running straight left, but instead he runs into a stasis trap. He does manage to bling himself away thanks to the Aphonic Shield, a fast blink out, and now an arrow nails Seb. Paparazzi says it's time to come back. The reinforcements are here. The call has been made. Vici Gaming gonna just kite out and he'll slowly take away. They're Look at OG, they're, the all, they're just making it to the mines. They're saying, please, no, Jarek, save us anything, but Vici Gaming have oh, no remorse. The no tail to the, 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 the mines. Blow it! Oh, 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 gets oh, the ultra oh, kill! Oh, Oh, gee, they got wiped, but at least they brought VG Gang down Dude, with them. What a bait. Uh, just the Dragon Lance to begin with. I don't know if it's going to be the full Hurricane Pike, but they're looking for initiation. ES rolling forward, Thompson, and that move for speed. Haystrun is up, 550 on the board. And S4 being watched by Nortel. They know he's coming in from the side, so Thompson knows how much he can get away with. Call snaps to mail, trying to get his own stun. The silence is there for Crit, and they're not hitting every appeal. Is Ridiculously difficult oh, to jump perform. in, toss back. They found themselves a target. But Bristol back with a fresh assault cuirass. That's a lot of life and armor. They have to get through. Yuaz giving it a shot. OG have come in deep. CCNC once again just stunned up a control from the back line, trying to create more space. They'll be the first one to die here. The roar is finally out, but for what avail? Nothing is really going here. And Thompson, he's the man that's going, going, going into the fountain once again. Bathe in the glory of the radiant. Thompson, he just does. Give a crap! Anna will give all the life! This is just fountain bombing! Gee, you got it! This is soul breaking! GG! Okay. GG! <laughs> the message has been sent! You weren't home and we smacked through the door and delivered it anyway! What is that? Oh man, that's my favorite moment of the game, Highlight Die. With the OK GG clean <laughs> button. Things are looking great right now, mainly because our team, they're okay. <laughs> they're actually just... Put the flag down, build a wall, and Arteezy can't cross the top lane. Seb's in real trouble in the middle of the call down. The attendants will not help him. The homing missile from Samel will wipe that smile off his face while fly under the tier two tower. Jirax and Thompson once again comboing together. They're the Smash Brothers right now. S4 as well as Arteezy, the TP out, the stun, space created! And Jirax will also leave. Going forward, instantly gets controlled up, but does have the old scepter another leap away. They're trying to finish him off. Heals coming out. KP can't provide enough. Go to the Ethereal Blade, finish him off. Now, they've got another SMC. They've been doing this. Tier 4 is actually going to fall. Yeah, Secret, for his team has a They do have the Maledict with the Dazzle coming out from them. They might be able to chop down these buildings faster, faster. But he's going to have the They're trying to go for it. They jump in. The last ditch ever to be able to finish off Big One Depot. But he's finished off Big One He's dead. The Alchemist is dead. The throne is done. They say Nisha was a fine target. We are still out of the They're going to be a five-down KP. Play down short. He dies. KP stop and now the Carlos Van plays against the Star. He dies to the infinite side. He actually managed to take Can it. Can they hold? Can he get away? He's trying to jump away from Nisha.
shot. He's trying to finish this up. Five minutes to live. They need the buybacks. They need to be able to get Moon. He's going to be able to get the bash. Moon trying to drift away. Moon's still going to have the token. He's just... This was the one that they're going to be dead. dead. Nisha is dead. Secret. Dead with three. Dead with... 1K gold lead now for Mineski. Oh, my heart. Oh, oh they're maybe... trying to execute the paces void. They know. They are at a disadvantage, but again, the four stabs. Oh, he's coming in. He's got the two supports. Under the two supports with an ice rush, with an earth splitter. Bye bye, Maneski. That's four dead. Make it five. The reincarnation. One versus five. Oh, baby, baby, Nico, baby. You've got to get back to the fountain, and you've got a stall secret. Because once again, they're going for your throne. Telgenes is pulled back. Mid one, toss him over to Nisha. Nisha. And he's just trying to waste time right now in secret. And they're obliging right now. They're walking away from the tower. They don't have Glyph, though. And this is going to be a hard hold. There's no buybacks. He's going to have to do this 1v5. They did it before. Two versus five. Ten seconds up for KP. Nullifier on the puppy. Looking to try and execute the captain of Team Secret, but he can't finish him off. He's still trying to go for it. Secret just ignoring him. dancing around. Nico maybe does have the reincarnation, so he's man fighting here. He even wants to die. He needs the AoE Rain Fire Blast. That's why Secret not finishing him off. The Guardian Angel. Good for the throw. It's exposed. Tier Force down. Nico baby. He's trying to finish up anybody he can. But Nisha swinging away. They don't feel the man. Another comeback! Unbelievable. Unbelievable victory for Team Secret! I can't believe they pulled this one out. The fight lasted so long. Barely able to pull. Well, maybe yes, a chrono to actually save it. The fissure holds him out. The four staff pushes him away. They really are trying to hold him. Thompson jumps in for the avalanche. Let's go for RTG. Gonna go in for the BKB. The callout's coming as well. They have to make sure he doesn't get the Sunder upset. Has the high ground BKB protection. Three man chrono! Murano's the only one that missed out of but they take out Samal. He's number one. Terrible. Number two, the Ninja. The control from Girac is perfect. This time, we're layering it like a cake. Moving towards S4. The detection was already out. Maybe with the bashes, they have another dust available. Down he goes. So they can all just walk away. Oh, they're going to walk into top, sir. Over oh, the avalanche. And now, and a time for a Crono. He'll catch three for the Ninja. They're all caught on the other side. So Az only got one choice that's to kill off Grit. Seb actually came in from the side looking for his own damage. And Dirac tossed in the echo. He'll finish off S4. Seb won't actually oh, die. The one shot just means the homing missile doesn't find the kill. And a time walk repairs the damage but stays on the front line. Trying to fight. They've lost Seb. They've lost Dirac. Another control to put two of them together. Avalanche in toss. Fly. He's got enough life to survive. The creep never hit the deck. But Thompson's not done. You know he's never done. Arcane Rune. They're running for it. But Samel will be ready to fight. This courier still hasn't brought his item to him, but they won't care if Thompson, Avalanche, Toss, Thompson's got so much damage. Help us there from Nortel. Thompson just needs to get the hell out of the oh, air. And now maybe they can try to they got so much damage. The controls will actually hold on the ES, but you won't care if you've got the kill first, not easy. Then the crit, time dilate. Samel's got no movement speed. Four heroes from EG, topple like dominoes. Anna instantly jumps back out to help his teammates, the BKB Ogre. It was a good distraction, but EG, what can they really get out of it? A call down on top of the ramp, Seb moves forward, here comes Anna, going on top of Arteezy. Where's the opening still? Fly's going down, he just cannot take this bath or bite. And now the jump in from... Oh. Three man, in the chrono, toss them down, Thompson, and maybe they got a little bit more. G-Rex controlling some the back lines. There's no more BKBs, there's no more real satanic to work with. And Arteezy, so low on life, does not have the sun. With a prop on the Mjolnir, this may just be it. With the towards the air, the Curse Crown is there. He'll be able to get the nice chase done. Chris Owen life. Arteezy getting some cleave damage. They're sent away by the Terrorize. Arteezy, the mana void is good, but is it good enough to sustain from OG? It continues to run. Arteezy protected by the BKB. He has to jump back in again. Crit, S4. They even get the Tornado onto Arteezy. Over in the tree. Especially when S4 blinks into a creep wave. Jump forward, finds two. That's a good two to get, but the Aeon Disc already propped. Crit living through this one, trying to find the follow up. It's going to be there. They take that one. They are going to possibly. No, they can't get Sumail. He's walking away. They find the finish. The black hole dropped down onto Arteezy. It's not enough. They're trying to run away. Is it going to be enough to break the catch the control? He time walks out of there, but now the turnaround. Mid one coming through with the. Woo! Forward, he made it happen for him. No buybacks. That's it. 
Dear Lord, that was beautiful. There are there, and what does it again? It's a little observer work there on the river that lets Nisha grab that game-winning chrono. Oh. It's one thing to cast your spells, but in order to do it, you gotta see the other guy. <laughs> Five your VP. They don't have the natural forms of initiation. Pasha wants to, but like we said, he hasn't built any armor energy. Now has the Vlads at least finished up, but oh, Ramsey's he's fairly squishy as Ramsey's. He's gonna get arrowed here as he stands. They're throwing everything. The Ramsey's dead. He doesn't have playback. No one's trying to fight back here. As he pops the BKB. Ame himself also has the BKB ready. Jumps up as solo. He's got his one Ramsey. He was AFK. That's just, that might just, be the game. I mean, he can't fight back. He just stood there and took FY's arrow to the face. Oh. EG feeling fine about this. They send Arteezy forward in the blur. He's not afraid. He jumps forward. He gets the missile blade mid one, gets the BKB off, trying to run. Doesn't have his ulti for another 30 seconds, though. And Arteezy throws it back. He's able to hit it. Chase forward for more. They have the shot from downtown. Tries to find the kill. And Sumail looking for the finish. Another remnant. Damn near Arteezy. is amazing. He and saved. Looking for more. There's going to be the catch on to Nisha the Weaver, trying to run away. And they get the buyback from the Sark and now run out of there. Epicenter for Staff, trying to keep them all survivable. The I turnaround, Arteezy almost able to get brought down, but not quite there. Disruption save yet again. They're all super low on EG and they need to run. But Sumail looking to finish this one off, possibly, as they chase forward for more. They find another kill. Oh! Two minutes! They did it to him! EG! And they're making it happen. The satanic, it was on cooldown. He still managed to find that last crit. Oh, they chase forward. And evil genius is now going to hit the tier oh, three towers. I, they turn forward onto the tier four. They're running. Do you believe in miracles, ladies and gentlemen? Oh. EG did it. Oh, the panel, they better hurry. Because that one ended in a tornado. He's playing this thing very well. He does have a buyback, and he tries to use it. They do manage to get the skewer back into the tier fours, but Anna is super tanky. Oh, what? what Ori happened? just tossed him <laughs> down. Happened? That's a triple kill for him, and it looks like Zev tossed over. Yang looks to be able to finish that one off as well. Ori, he did it. He showed up big time. I think they can wait and use that regen as a bit of a bait. That's what it's looking like. Miracle. They're like, gonna, oh, they're like, see they're like Miracle's going to oh, go for no. this for sure. Oh, oh, the the Miracle. The oh, is is out. He got baited. He got baited. TNC, TNC they got his number. <laughs> they really do. They are working. Miracle. Able to keep tabs. Oh, mid. Oh, mid. Miracle. Get Miracle. a combo. He's got the slight. He's got the jump. Yeah, but look, Gabby, he knows the force forward. Gabby's in, but the BKB's popped by Miracle. We'll be there in time to make sure he doesn't get stunned up. Kuro will pay for that, though. As he's at the side, Miracle will be able to retreat. Tim's is chasing. He knows that Miracle's greedy. He yeah. knows that he's on this. He knows. Tim's predicted Tim's. It. He's got him. He's oh so God, goddamn Tim's. smart. He Tim's. Knows. He, he knows. knows. So greedy. He's in. The Weeha has been able to head into the jungle. Clean up the neutrals as well. Down bottom. X set up. Onto mind control. He hasn't got the stun for a couple of seconds. Fade is looking for him. Stick charges will be there. One more right click will do it. Stun. Do get the burrow strike up? Oh. oh. He touched the stun. Can they get him? He's they probably... should have him. Oh, no, the Jukes. Oh. No way. He's where, got another Where did he go? He's... Where did he go? Oh. Nobody knows. The Jukes are real. He's out in the trees. Oh, Mind Control will manage to TP away there. Epicenter is there. They're looking for this uh, the Tiny. Yeah, he loaded with the Burrow Strike. Tiny's still in all sorts of trouble here. He does have a toss if he wants to try and use it. Echo Slam catches out three. Miracle absolutely destroying them. He's got the Maledict on him, though. He's going to take a lot of damage here. Old Chicken is just holding his ground. He's life stealing back up as well. He gets crit. He gets deleted. Miracle. Oh, that damage. Holy moly. He has over a thousand damage plus a crit Ooh. on top. K up. They've done a really good job. Now they come. S4 Burrow Strikes in. Look at DY's position. He's ready for the rock drop. He just needs the right timing for it. Ari's taking he threw a lot of it. Now the rock drop does come down with a fatal bonds connected, but Fade's already dead. He'll have to buy him back. The damage in. They're getting it off, but here comes Paparazzi in for the stun. He wants to focus down Arteezy, and with the upheaval, is making it difficult for EG to continue to move, especially as Ori has backed up some mail. He will end up falling. Chris trying to do something about it in the back lines. Turns on the magnetize, gets a follow up kick, but how much has he really got left to give? He got the flip tossed out, and now crit focused down by Paparazzi. All the damage he needs with the Gosser, and he gets it. And with a full stop, Ori continues to be kiting them out. S4 will borrow strike in. He doesn't really be that effective. In fact, it's the stun the opposite way around. Arteezy's slow on life. He'll try and hit your right inside of S4 to get the hell out of here. Burrow strike in one second, but the mana, it got taken away by the Mystic Snake. They have to pop out. They have to fight. At least he'll be able to get one die back over on the Tusker. Or maybe he can get oh, more. A double kill for Arteezy. <laughs> A triple kill for Arteezy. He's just turned this crap off. Ultra kill. Give him the rampage. The bash. It is. Arteezy. Rampage is solo. BG gaming. <laughs>
Do you want it? Do you want it? Group heroes like CM into that support category. And GH says no. Blink call on an illusion. Oh no. And now the BKB CM with the Desolator. He's just going to look to right click at the OD. The OD's dying in the black hole. GH doing all the damage. GH, he says, I'm the carry now, bitches. A keen game and getting absolutely destroyed by the GH Crystal Maiden. He blinks forward. He's still right clicking. Mind Shadow, you run further for Paralyzing Cast. Now the illusion will work against him. He'll bounce back oh, down with the Maladin. That's how you go on him. He does Lotus. it with the Lotus Orb. It actually stopped Miracle from getting the life. That's what we're talking about. Mind Control. Hopstop creates more space. Miracles and almost no life room. Just wants to finish the job and they're going to be able to. Ninja Pookie's Maldic pop is the BKB win. Hey, but quickly, Weeha and Kuro are sweeping across the map. They're hunting. Blood. Now Weeha has found. And comes the army, bringing in the extra B pose on top of Milan. They'll find one TPs are coming into the shrine. Kuro is getting the bow out, but the bear is upon him. Zip for from Miracle. Miracle trying to help out the team as GH jumps in with the leap. Forces away Misery with the right clicks. And Kuro will survive. Weeha fights Kezu. There's a jump in, they're pushing Chaos back, drag back on the bear, get that 300 gold. We are once it, he'll get it, plus 300. Now back towards Faded and Misery. Faded's popped the BKB, but he's got to be careful with right these right clicks. He's just getting right clicked down by We Are. Misery's trapped up. Misery will be saved momentarily by the fear. But Liquid, they're into the base. They're onto the high ground. They're trying to set up that rampage for We Are. Let run. him have it. There's the ultra kill. Matsu, he's getting back. We Are, he's going in. He, he wants, wants this. It. He wants it bad. He's able to get the root off. He's bringing in the rest of the Miracle Giants are back. There he's going to he find it. it. There's the rampage. Give him the double. double! Oh, give him the triple, baby. Come on, you gotta be careful, Cassie. Get back to the fountain cell. We ha! Actually, look at this tournament. It seems like we may have a record on our hands. <laughs> All right. All right. Fatal mistake. Went tier four down to break onto Jerex. Immediately disruption going out. Ame. He's been disrupted. His illusion has got to stay away from those. He's going to go for Thompson here. BKB activated. Soul Catcher on him. Press T Tank though. Helping him out. Earth Splitter. Oh, but they, they caught the duel. They caught Ame. And he's dead for two minutes. The ball is coming in, but it's not good enough. Now, the physical damage will overrun the throne in PSG LGD in a three versus five. Taking you in a row. from the lower bracket. It is Team Liquid ready to take the stage. A chance for the second ages of four of those players. The defending champions of the International 2018 now again on the ground stage of the International 2019 OG taking the stage. Ready to face it. Six minutes in, Liquid will finally get themselves into the base, take that bit back. They're going to look for more. Cherex still down for 20. And they do have that Meepo ready to go. They get the toss back on Mind Control. See if they've got the damage to beat him down. No tail offering quite a bit of right clip. But Miracle is in straight away. Look at the back. Oh like, he's on top of the ET. And it's going to set forward for Mind Control. Haunt, pop. Can they get any of these kills? They're on to Miracle. Miracle BKB trying for the DPM. They okay. have the damage set with the impetus. Takes down TA. And the chase continues, Anna, he found my control. A second kill here for OG. We have the rounds, Anna, Anna needs the safety jack. He's there, Healing with it. the creeper by the heel, Anna is still alive. Steps into the side, throws out the impetus, and we are falling low. GH cannot save him, oh we are in dead. OG, they'll hold on to the game. They may have lost their ranks, but they team wipe team. No tails able to catch him before he's able to poop back. Meepo dead. He's gonna have to use the buyback. Out it comes. Zana will get the D award and continue to push on taking these racks. Mind control trying to step forward, but Seb turns towards him. Seb pretty low on the matter, but he's got enough rainbows to bring mind control down to about 25% of his HP. And pop the BKB and miracles. Looking for the backlines again. These ghost forms are annoying him. The dispel will be there. On to no tell, but he's just getting Thompson. Thompson's got the combo, the damage to kill him off. Mind control is in with the ravage. They're trying their best to commit on top of Seb. A gush is out. Can they even kill off the end shallow? They've tried their best on the high ground adder. He has been nullified. The damage out, but it's enough. Again, this single target from Liquid. If they get it going, they can still kill the court of OG. Oh even God. the big old Spectre. As Liquid will hold his three buybacks they have to use. The first hit falls down. Liquid, they're going to be able to get potentially another one out of this. Kuro, falling low, turn with the penitence. He's still alive, but the back of this, finally the buyback comes out. The Ancient is exposed. The Ancient's gone down. They're just 
just gonna keep hitting him! He's dead! Oh, they've done it! Oh my god! What an end to game one! It looked like they quit out in the early game! It looked like they started the time! It's relatively low on mana. They stopped the rush and they're like, oh! Heroes have been spotted. Go for the fight. Miracle is in the mid lane. They're going to go for jump on Miracle. Instant Rage and a back off. Still, they managed to sandwich them. If Liquid can get the Tide and the Enigma in, they could go for a good fight from the low ground. Kuro Miracle. is disabled. He traps up no tail in the circle wars. Miracle's the focus. Miracle will fall. They're walking over my control. Tries to get around the company. Can't battle the strikes out. And no time. Tim's embrace again. No tail. Stopping around my control for the other. Off of the ravage for now. And Anna and Thompson, they're still good to go. Dust is out. They've got the detection prepared. Weehaw's left behind. They take a both corners. They're going to get the third. Oh by the looks of his OG, they jump over, catch out by control, and they'll also toss back in GH's OG. They just keep killing oh every God. single member of Liquid over and over again. They're playing the... A miracle. Trying to push into Thompson, but with the eyes of the Thompson has, and the buff that he does, Soul finds out, they're going to try and jump forward, the Wukong's come on, it's now my control, off the rabbit. The GH is already out, they've got the black hole, GH falls those, he's stuck inside the Wukong, three dead on Liquid, OG just beating them down, one by one, the buybacks will come out from both Kuro and Miracle, but both GH and my control are gone without their ultimates and without buybacks. The game continues to worsen for Liquid as OG past the racks on top of Miracle, tossing him back into the balance. Triple kill for Thompson. Wow. As OG, this entire game has been a highlight reel for them. We are, you get something. It's a lot of money, of course, Anna. So that's a little bit of glory for Liquid. Oh, Jarex. It will go down, maybe. No, the heal they give the rank base to Thompson. Over 10,000 experience league, and that Dota Plus does say the 99% right now. So only a 1% right now for Liquid. It does feel like that as well. As Did you get the play field off in time, Anna? They actually get it. We also have to get in with a bling mount. Can they get more out of this no-tail? Will pick up the rune, oh has Thompson by his side, but Liquid, they're chasing. They'll listen to move on to the high ground, turn around there. Jarrett's in with the combo, the healing one is not enough to keep Miracle alive. Miracle's dead for over a minute, it's OG. They can now go back to chasing for more. GH tries for the TP out, Seb finds him. Doesn't get enough damage in in time. GH will escape, decrepifies there. Liquid, they do get in, take down a second as they'll find no tail for the toss back. Avalanche for Jarrett, oh catches the two of them. We have, he's got the Embers, they don't have detection. They've got AoE. Got so the blink are, up soon with the refraction. They will let him be. Who's going to be able will to blink, or is he? He's not going. He's not going to be able to blink. He's not going to be able to blink. Thompson. The ward is that well. Find the troll. Find the jump hook with the ravage. We have it as well. Do they have the damage out? Time they do. They kill on Thompson. There's a lot of money going the way of Kuroki though. Can they get more out of this army slash bouncing around Jarek? A buyback comes out for Thompson. He wants to rejoin the fight. As OG turns, they'll get one. Chrono. There's the setup again. Adam with a three-man Chrono catches them all. Double kill for Adam. The toss up disabled. Taking down Miracle. The Phantom embraces on Kuro. They chase him up to the base. Triple kill for Anna. Two buybacks to come out from Liquid, but no Tide or Juggernaut available to offer their services for this defense. For the fight, and even then they can't outcome. It can't even come close to coming out ahead of it. I mean, they, they got Thompson. They got that, him, but he's back. That was it. They'll get another jump in. Mind Control trying to commit. Jarrett just turns with the toss avalanche combo. Mind Control out of the game once more. We are trying to jump in, find at least Thompson, but he's not going to get it. OG surround him, outnumber them, a toss up, to them back to the grave. GH is dead, GG is called. OG take game three, and Derek said it's an even. It's the IO, OG immediately snap it up. Yeah, they haven't lost, yeah. Pai, you were a victim of uh, some Ana oh, IO. Right. What was that experience like? <laughs> No, it's it's one of those like we th the game was we we're feeling pretty good, and then suddenly like uh, when that hero hits his time, it's gonna be worth it for OG to have Seb positioned that aggressively, and for him to draw that much attention towards him. Thompson's getting space, Anna's getting space. Look at that build by Thompson, Diffusal Gyrocopter. Wait, what? Diffusal Gyrocopter. Trench Diffusal Gyrocopter. Fancy that, Thompson. So the doing something I don't I don't think I've ever seen this. <laughs> kind of, I mean, it's interesting because it's going to provide a lot of like, mana burn, which is going to be annoying for Liquid. Okay. There's going to be an MKB finish now for Weeha, so his damage is going to be very high as Seb's getting slowed down. He's got Grease available, but he's getting burst. I mean, they're bringing him low. He's got the shield. Now they'll be able to turn. Cooldown's dropped down by Thompson. 
And here we have it, better. Miracle. His man is gone, he's able to pop the stick, get him a fair bit of it back, and he's able to head back in, pushing OG. Back behind the racks, they're getting a good amount of damage onto this tier 3 tower liquid. They push on. On Io, that spirit hero damage is there now. But Io gonna join the fray finally. There we have it, Miracle's mana. It's pretty much entirely gone by Thompson's focus. He'll look for what GH is. He's trying to off, but he can't get out, there's no mana. GH, he's dead, and now OG. They have that numbers advantage for this defense. They'll try and change the ball. Thompson, they're working for Ike, brings Miracle down. There's the Shackle turn around. They're looking for Jarex. Jarex backing away. Thompson focusing Miracle. Miracle still out of mana because of this diffusion. Jarex, Jarex, he's able to cover the GA is out. We all will fall though. The magic damage is there for Thompson. Miracle's trying to run. Another stick charge pop, but Jarex can shut him off. In fact, Jarex, he's ready to try and look for more potentially. There's only the ones. To go for the back line. Thompson, he's on top of Kuro. No one called out there. The toss back into the combo. Jarex oh has the control. God. They're all getting picked apart as my control falls. Miracle is surrounded. And they're and all dead. able to get this as well. OG, they will hold. As and they're even taunting. They toss him to the dragon. It's just not there. And OG's ready to go back. back. And again, Jarex in with the wrap around the combo. Down onto my control. The cooldowns there. Liquid out to back off. Again, my control's mana pretty much gone. He's able to pop the stick. Get the GA off at least. Can they fight for the duration of it though? They're getting towards Sam. We all support. Sends back pretty much up to four. Jarex in with another combo. On to We Are. We Are stand up. We Are dead. Miracle's the new focus. The miss up follow through. OG pushing Liquid back to the base. My control out of mana. Thompson oh, with his defuser blade. Picking them apart. Roll four for GA for Sam. this I can't believe what we're seeing in this game for OG you throw your sword all against you you throw your sword all against you there he is gold OG are your two time TI champion they've done it folks and in what a fashion these last three games didn't even seem close liquid they had something going for themselves but then they hit the brick wall OG is the, the, the best best team in the world they're, they're on a completely no different question, level no question they are so far ahead of anybody else that plays this game for a living. Game two, three, and four were absolutely ridiculous. The showing was magical from OG. They just seem to know exactly what to do with whatever draft they're giving. It doesn't matter. They have so many different drafts, so many different play styles. They can execute all of them. Liquid seemed like they stood How no on? chance after that first and game. They've earned their money. $15 million, just over it, in fact going the way of OG for this victory on top of the 11 million dollars they won last year. Unbelievable performance by them and in such style. Busting out the carry IO in the final game. Having a timber saw that they haven't played too much at all either. These guys can play anything. They absolutely can. Innovators, magicians, bringing something new to the game and when it counts the most in the grand finals. Game one was shaky, we had a bit of fun. Game two, three and four. They played their hearts out for every single minute of the matches. OG, the best team of all time, and with this, their second TI win. And not just the second TI win, but the second back-to-back. -back. They do it two years in a row. There is no question that we are witnessing the best team of all time. I'm, I'm at a loss of words from the way that they played this. It was just an absolute beatdown. They just, they're just way too good at Dota. And this sort of accomplishment, the first team to do it, two times back to back, the thing that so many TI winners in the past have dreamt of. Winning one TI, of course, is fabulous, but to do two, that was always the goal for all of our previous champions. And here in 2019, the International 2019, OG are the ones to do it first. The two time TI champions, OG, ladies and gentlemen. Here we have it. The team, I believe, preparing to lift up what is rightfully theirs for the second time in a row. There he is, Seb himself, so leading the crew up to the podium. You cannot help 
but be awestruck by what this team has shown us in this entire run in these two years. And now in the grand finals.